It's your boy Griff here, back with another video, and today, <clears throat> Ooh, I got a special video guys, man, today we're back with the Tournament Power Season 91 Part 1, um, Walkthrough 1, Boss 1, whatever you guys want to call it, now I know I'm super late, not really late, but I'm like a day late, uh, waiting for, I was waiting for the thumbnail and everything, and then I was just busy this weekend, um, wasn't really thinking about Tournament Power and stuff, so, sorry about that, but, you guys are not going to get your 1kcc this week anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Uh, we're going to go all the way to the boss one. Wait until Saturday next week. And we're going to get straight into that as well. So I'm going to show you guys like the setup that I'm going to rock. Um, based off, I'm going to just show you guys that. And if you guys do enjoy these type of videos, subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So with my setup here, I'm, I'm going to be rocking this team. Um, I was thinking about rocking Fat Boo with the Hercule Sis. But then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to keep Yellow Piccolo in here just just in case I just need the extra healing. But the fact that he's not an S tier or a Z tier character, I don't really need to rock him on my main 6 consistently. I'm just only going to bring him in if I need the extra healing savers up at LF Piccolo or just a few of my characters are, are kind of getting low on health. I will substitute him in just to try to use him a little bit more. But for the most part, our three main people are, are S tiers. We got Piccolo Jr. We got... Omega and then we got green DKP so we already have like three S tier characters which is really good so I really don't need to bring him in he's an A tier character I'm only going to use if I need the extra healing so yeah and other than that I also have red Buhan here because based off the path we're going to be facing a lot of blues no, not a lot of blues a lot of uh, yellows purples so I wanted to bring in double reds um, and then like I said we got our main yellow there so uh, if you do want to take take him out and rock the the fat boo you guys can definitely do that as well but i'm gonna just keep him in here just because why not um and yeah let's get straight to it now i know fat boo what's name does the healing as well but it is what it is so if i'm looking up at a certain thing just don't mind me it's because i'm looking at a certain um, little list that i've made and stuff that i'm following so we're gonna move here so this setup here we're gonna be facing the god goku and the new Whis here now with this god goku he is he does get a guaranteed blue card at the um start of the first turn he's kind of similar to boot tank so there isn't really much that we can do in terms of stopping him he's going to proc that blue card um and i believe he gets extra buffs when he pops the blue card as well so what i want to do is i want to take out beers first because i just don't like the can't attack thing i don't like the stun thing that he does they are probably gonna go after this new free-to-play weast then the green goku then the purple vegeta and then I'll probably go for the red Goku and then the EX Beerus. So, based off this setup here, I don't know if he's going to get the blue card. I could actually put LF Piccolo here. Just in case he might get the blue card. I might do that. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to put him there. So, we're going to go here, 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 here. Actually, here. So, green Beerus, purple Whis, LF God Goku, the purple Vegeta. Red God Ku and then EX Bears. All right, so let's go after here. Um, I was thinking about taking out Whis first, but since Regen isn't a team that has like high key restore speed, I'm not gonna really be able to take these characters out pretty fast. So, yeah, pretty much that's the first route there. That's pretty good. Next after that, we're going to be facing. Is it this team? Yes, yeah, this team. So, yeah, my bad here, real quick. We can go here. Um, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna face with this team now. I want to take out this guy first him or him now I believe he charges his gauge every time he loses an ally if I'm not mistaken so I want to probably take him out probably second so I probably might do guy Goku first probably do him second this guy does extra damage to regen but am I really too worried about him not really I might kill him fourth deal with this guy fifth because he's a tanky unit and deal with him like fifth so Based off the setup here, um, I'm going to just keep it the same. I'll probably just put Piccolo here. Uh, maybe just get Piccolo a little bit of healing since green DKP, DKP can heal by himself. So I'm not really tripping there. Um, and also, also forgot before the video, make sure your LF, if you guys are rocking LF Piccolo, make sure your LF Piccolo is set to the blast strategy. Because I know I think by default he is set to the strike. So make sure that LF Piccolo sits to the blast side of things. And if you are rocking this EX Piccolo as well, make sure he is set 
as well to the blast side. I believe both of them are set to the strike side, so make sure you guys set them to the blast side. I generally uh, apologize for that. And if you guys are rocking red Zenkai Metal Cooler, this guy here, make sure he's set to the blast as well. I think those are the main three I noticed that was set to the strike, even though they're kind of more of a blast based type of character. So make sure you guys do that as well. Um, forgot to mention that in the video, but now let's get now, now let's continue. Let's continue. All right, so here we're gonna go for God Goku and go with the Super Saiyan Goku. Then we're gonna go with this Goku because he gives support. Him because he does extra damage to regen. Then this uh, base Goku and then Super Saiyan 2. So God Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, base Goku, and then Super Saiyan 2 Goku. All right. Uh, All right, pretty well there, pretty well. All right, next after that, we're going to be facing up against this team. We're going to face against the Trunks and Vegeta um, and everything like that. It's kind of like the Androids type of team, I guess you can call it. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put Green DKP here. I'm going to keep everyone in the same spot. I'm not going to really change much. So what we're going to do here, we want to take out the Green Super Saiyan Trunks. He's by far the best character on this whole team. Then after that, I'm going to go with the uh, free-to-play Trunks. The free-to-play Trunks is actually pretty solid here. I think he's really like the second best character on here. Then I'm going to go with the uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Then here, kind of doesn't really matter who you want to take out. You can go with either EX characters. doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll probably, me personally, I'll probably go after the red one. Maybe because since I have a yellow, I don't have, uh, like I said, I don't, it don't really matter. Um, maybe go with the Trunks, I guess. And then let's go with the Vegeta. And we want to kill Heart Virus Goku last, because I believe he gives death buffs. It's something that he does last, so you kind of want to kill him uh, first. You kinda, I'm going to kill him last, Heart Virus Goku last. I believe he gives death buffs to this team. So yeah, let's go after him. Alright, then. Alright, pretty good there. Next after that, we're going to be facing against this team. Or is it this team? Nah, we'll face this team. All right, so we're facing against like kind of like a movie setup. I kind of don't know what this team is. I guess it's just a movie team. All right. Now, before we go with this vid with this team, I want to emphasize: if you guys are rocking region, you guys have a movies PO character. So, say for example, you rocking Red Metal Cooler. Don't bring him because Yellow Pycon gives a stun. If the enemy is both a, if one of the main six is a PO movies character, he's going to get the stun thing. So for me, for example, I don't have no movies PO on my team. But if you guys are rocking Red Cooler, make sure you take them out because then PyCon is going to get the stun and everything like that. So I just wanted to warn you guys there and all that good stuff. So based off here, should I move everyone up top? Because I want to take out... I'm pretty good here. I don't really need to move anybody else here for real. Um I mean I guess let's 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 do this then. Let's let's put everybody up here. Okay, we wanna take yeah, let's just put them here. Let's get let's keep this set up here. Don't really matter. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, so then what we're gonna do here, we wanna take out light skin piccolo. They wanna go for drip trunks. Drip trunks are gamma one. Gamma One is actually not a bad character. I believe he also has some type of debuffs. So either the Drip Trunks or Gamma One for like the second or third. I'm gonna go with Drip Trunks, Gamma. Then I'm gonna go uh, Luffy Piccolo. Then I want to go for Pycon. Then I want to go with this Vegeta last. The reason why you want to go for this Vegeta last is he gets buffs when he gets hit. So he like heals by seven percent when he gets hit. So you kind of want he's kind of like the defensive character in the team. So. And like I said, we want to do a PyCon fifth because we don't have no red, we don't have no PO uh, movies character, so we're kind of good there, so we can move to the spot. Then after that, we're gonna hop into the next team. I believe we're on the fifth stage now. All right, so these next two stages is gonna be pretty difficult in a sense. We're gonna be facing the same team throughout, so. Um, this one is kind of like one of the harder ones from la like the last um, the last type of variant of like how they did the T.O.P. before they kind of upgraded it to the new characters. So we'll be facing this team uh, early. So I could bring in Buhan. Like I said, I could actually take him out because we are facing a lot of greens. So I could take Omega out if I want to. So I'm going to put him down here. I could substitute him in, bring in Red Buhan. Should I do that? Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. 
We're gonna put LF Piccolo here. Put him here. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Key restore speed for Piccolo for Green DKP. He doesn't really have. Maybe let's switch it like this because he's gonna get his blue card. Actually, no, nah, I always want Piccolo to have it so he gets the guaranteed kill. If I'm gonna put everyone like this, I might just put him here just so he can focus on Piccolo with the support. So now, in terms of what we want to take out, we want to take out a uh, Ford coup here. Then we're going to take out the Tag Fours. Me, personally, I'm going to go with this guy third, because hopefully Piccolo will have his blue card and he will one-shot him. Then I'm going to go with the Red Vegeta. Then I'm going to go full power, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, then Gogeta. So, Ella Ford coup, Tag Fours. Uh, purple Ford coup, Red Vegeta. Then full power, Green Goku, and then Gogeta. And then basically, we're basically going to just be doing the same thing. So, so we're going to basically be doing the same, the same exact rotation. So the same fight sequence and everything. So yeah, pretty solid there. Then after that, it's going to be less actually. So I'm going to put him back here. Put Piccolo here. Kind of keep everyone the same. I'm going to put Omega back just so I can get more, um, I get more points. Actually, I can, I might keep him in here since it's a three-fifths fight. I don't think he's going to take that much damage, so I'm going to keep him in here. But we're going to go four coup. Then we're going to tag four, Super Saiyan four, Vegeta, uh, tag four, and Gogeta. So if we did the four fifth stage, then I'm not really too worried about the three fifth stage, unless he just takes a ton of damage. But yeah, not bad, not bad. So next after that, we're going to be facing against the scouter team or the underlings team. You can kind of do whatever. Uh, underlings or scouter because they all got a scouter so um yeah let's go straight into it here here i'm gonna just kind of keep the same setup um ain't really much to change here so i'm gonna just keep it the same now in terms of who we want to take out i think i want to take out almond first i think almond actually gives buffs over time now i know the bottle also has like some great debuffs so I kind of want to deal with him. I kind of want to take him out pretty fast as well. My Ray is actually not is actually pretty solid as well. So it's kind of like the main. These are like the main three. So what I want to do here, I want to take out Almond. I think Almond, Amon, whatever, whatever it's uh, Amon. I think it's not Almond, Amon. And then we're gonna go Mon Ray. In the bottom he just gives debuffs. Then we're gonna go Scouter Vegeta. And then Salzer is not that bad. I mean I'm gonna deal with him last. Let's do Shigesh, Vegeta, Thouser. So we're going with Amon, Monray, Nibana, Shigesh, Vegeta, and then Thouser. Yeah, that's going to be like our main, that's going to be our sequence there. All right, so next after that, I think we're on number eight, right? We're at number eight. So we're going to be facing this team back to back as well. This same setup, we're going to be facing this uh, double. Not this. We're going to go here. And I believe it's here. No, I think it's here. So it's going to be, no, yes. Yeah. Not tripping. I believe we faced this team twice. Huh. I guess I'm tripping. Okay, I think we face that team next. I think we face that team next. All right. Anyway, let's hop into this team. Now this team is pretty interesting. We're going to deal with um, Captain Ginyu last because he's a revival character, and hopefully, like a Rise of Rust kills him. What we're going to do here? I'm going to keep everyone the same. I'm not going to really take nobody out. What we want to do here? He's they're kind of pretty tanky. This freeze is not bad. Offensive character. So, yeah, I want to keep everything the same here. What I'm going to do here is go after Jace Burder. Then I'm going to go after this Goku here. I don't really know much what he does, but I'm going to go after him. Then, we don't really have any characters that's like, I'm kind of like really, really scared of for real, for real. Now, third or fifth, I might go either Krillin or Krillin Gohan or Gold over Kum. I probably might go for. I have one green. I don't have. I have a purple and a blue. So I'm gonna deal with him because they kind of like they kind of have three counters on my team in a sense. I only have one green here, so I'm gonna deal with them uh, fourth. Then Freeze a fifth and give you uh, six. So Murder Jace, Goku, Gold over Kum, Gohan, Krillin, Frieza, then uh, Captain Ginyu. I believe that's number uh, I think that's number eight if I'm not mistaken it's number eight yeah that's number eight so we'll go with number nine 
All right, yeah, pretty solid there. So after that, we're gonna be hopping in over here. And I believe we wanna make sure we face this setup. So we wanna go here, here, here. I believe we face here, right? Yeah, 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 cause we don't wanna go here. No, we wanna go here, here, here. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna go face this team. Now with this setup here, I could kind of like move everyone. I could kind of like move Piccolo here, kind of move him here in a sense, or put uh, Piccolo here. Doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's just keep it like this. All right, and then with this setup here, what we're gonna do is we want to take out Cooler. I'm gonna take out Cooler first. Um, he's kind of like the best offensive character. Now, Frost does have a stun thing, so I don't know if I want to deal with him third or f second. He also has a stun thing as well, this Red Devious Freezer. So I kind of want to take him out. I'm going to take out this Red Devious Freezer, then I'm going to take out Frost, Yellow Freezer, Green, EX Freezer, then Revival Freezer. So yeah, we're going to go with, um, we're going to go with Cooler, then we're going to go with Red Devious Freezer. Then we're gonna go with. Do I really care too much about Frost's thing? I really don't care. Actually, I really don't care. I'm gonna go red cooler, DBS freezer, yellow freezer. Uh, Thouser. Actually, let's go with him, Thouser. What's his name? I don't really care about Frost at all. I keep. I said Thouser. Red cooler, red DBS freezer, yellow freezer, green EX freezer, uh, Frost, and then revival freezer. Then after that, we're going to go to the right side, and I know exactly what to do after that. And then, yeah, so if you are rocking the regen team, that the, the, the boss one fight is going to be pretty easy because we're a blast-based team. But if you are a strike-based team, good luck, for sure. Good luck. But if you rock the regen or a blast-based setup, then you should be good against this, this fusion team that we're going to be facing pretty soon. So after that, I believe this is the 10th fight. I'm not mistaken here, so... With this setup here, we got Red Ginyu, we got Purple Vegeta, we got Yellow Piccolo, Krillin, Gohan, and then EX Ginyu. I might, me personally, I might go after, we about to get his blue card soon. I actually want to put him here though, it don't really matter, put him in the middle. Put him here. Mm -hmm. Put him here. Okay. So what I want to do here, I want to go after Red Ginyu. Then I might go after Scouter Vegeta. I think I'm going to go Scouter. I'm going to go Scouter. Because I know Piccolo's going to get his blue card, so we could one-shot him. Then I'm going to go Purple Ginyu. Then here, I might go after Krillin. Piccolo kind of just doesn't really matter to me. And then the Gohan doesn't really matter to me as well. The Gohan... Nah, yeah, I'm going to go Ginyu third. Krillin, I'm gonna go Gohan and Yellow Piccolo. Captain Ginyu, Ultra Vegeta, Ginyu, Krillin, Gohan, Piccolo. Yeah, let's go. Then after that here, we wanna go to the right side. Yeah, pretty solid there. Then after that, we're gonna go to this right side. We're gonna basically be facing doing the same setup that we did that last time. Put Hello Piccolo here. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Not gonna change much. We're gonna go with Beerus, Whis, I Love God Goku, Purple Vegeta, Red God Goku, and then EX Beerus. So I kind of, kind of already explained why. Like so. Then after that. We're gonna be facing against Super Vegito. So yeah, Piccolo took a lot of damage there. Kind of noticed that. Not really too worried. Next, we're gonna be facing against the Super Saiyan 3 team. So yeah, let's get straight into it. I'm gonna keep everyone. Should I keep everyone up top? Yeah, let's keep everyone up top. Yeah, I ain't gonna change. I like this setup a lot. Okay. First person, we'll take him out. He just gives too much support. It's really, really good. Purple, free to play Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Then we're going to go with the GT Goku here. 
I want to go with Red Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Because he does extra damage to region. They both do extra damage to region. I have double blues for him, though. I don't have double reds. I could actually do double red if I wanted to. I might go after him next. Then I'm going to go after Shallot. Shallot kind of is nothing after the first two turns. Then go tanks, and then I'm going to go EX go tanks. So, free to play Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Red Goku, Shallot, Super Saiyan 3. And then I'm going to go with uh, Green Go Tanks, the EX. But they both kind of like suck after. Or I might go Shallot 5th. I'm going to go Shallot 5th. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so this Super Saiyan, this, this Fusion Steam is going to be pretty difficult. So let's lock in. Alright, Purple Go. Purple Piccolo took a lot of damage. My switch this up here. Just put them here. And then what I'm gonna do is actually how much damage he took? 61? I ain't really too worried for real. Let's actually look at the setup. Alright. We gotta deal with him last. Like I said, if you are a blast space team, then you should be good. This guy has a strike counter, I believe. This guy, he, um, I think he neglects blast cards as well based off his kit. So we're going to deal with him last. We're going to deal with this guy fifth. Now in terms of first, who I want to take out, it's probably going to be, it's probably going to be these two first and second. Then after that, I want to deal with him third. Hopefully LF Piccolo will have his blue card by the time if we can one shot him. Then we're gonna go with blue VB, then we're gonna go purple VB, and then we're gonna go Super Saiyan, uh, Super Vegito last. That's basically the setup that I wanna go with. Now, how do I wanna do this? Do I wanna put Piccolo up top? Just so he can get that extra blue card guaranteed? Cause I know Baby's not gonna get it. Or do I, do I focus on trying to just heal Red Ribbon Army Piccolo, right? I think Shinron is going to be fine up top. I do want to heal him up. I'm going to move these guys to the left so they get support from the Piccolo here. This Red Ribbon Army Piccolo. Now, do I put this Red Piccolo first up here? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to keep him in here. We can keep them in here. If we need to actually handle, we got yellow EX Piccolo. So, yeah, let's go after Red Vegito, Fusion Vegito. Hopefully, Piccolo's blue card can one shot him. We're going to go with VB, Purple VB, then USV. So, UVB, Fusion Vegito, LF, uh, Super Vegito, then LF VB, then regular Spark of VB, then Ultra Super Vegito. So, Let's get straight into it, man. It's basically the, the Vegito team, so... If you guys are a strike-based team, good luck. But if you're a blast base, let's see what happens. Okay. Alright, so Purple Piccolo is at super, super low health. But everybody else did pretty well. So they went after <laughs> they went after the Red River Army Piccolo. Am I too worried? Still, no. I'm not really too worried about him getting this low health. But what I might do is I might substitute him out and bring in yellow Piccolo so we can get more healing on the team. But other than that, I mean, I'm still pretty solid. But I, <laughs> oh boy, he took a lot of damage, 20%. What I could do here is um, I could have the setup where if I put yellow Piccolo like in the middle here, I could do that if I want to, if I want to save him, which I, which I might do. But... This is going to be depends on like who we're facing. So, um, but other than that, I ain't tripping though. I'm not tripping at all. You know, like I said, this is hard. This is going to be a difficult stage, bro. It's going to be difficult. But other than that, I'm still not really, I'm still proud of where we're at. So, I'm going to screenshot this 17.6 mil. That's pretty good for the first 
13 and then we just gotta just make sure we survive to the end so yeah that's pretty much it with the video hope you guys enjoy like comment subscribe been rough i'm out peace